Hello and welcome back in the previous video we wrote our function for get products if we go inside our local host then you can see that uh, now we can get all of these products into this screen okay so remember we are working with our firebase functions okay so if i click on add new product so in here i can choose the image and whenever i click on the save product this product will be stored inside the our firebase database so we need to add and we need to save this image inside the firebase and these fields of data so we should write a function to add product okay, if we go in products so when i hover over on these products then i should be able to see the edit and delete button so i should go and should add a function for edit our product or delete the product inside of firebase.js so with this our firebase functions for our admin panel will be completed okay so go back to your firebase.js and just below this get products function that we have created in the previous video create another function okay and name it add product okay id and it will take our product okay this will be your arrow function no need for the parentheses we need only one line to write this function write this dot db dot collection the products will be stored inside our products document okay if we go inside our e-commerce then all of the products will be stored inside this document then we should reference this product inside our code and okay then we will write doc and we'll give it id and we'll set this product okay remember this id and product is coming uh, we whenever we call this product we will give it this id and product and we'll see later on when we call this product okay so we also do need to store this image okay so we'll write store image this function will work for product image and also for user profile image okay so this will be your asynchronous function and this will take promise and we also give the folder and image file so we'll write here const snap shot and write a wait until this function will be completed until it will give us give you some kind of feedback this dot storage dot ref and then type folder okay this is coming inside our argument dot child and write id dot put image file okay and in the next line we will download our url download url and then we'll get our url from snapshot dot get i think download url okay and we have installed the firebase for this project we will install it of this function and now we have a url of that image from our firebase so we'll write here return download url okay okay let's go and download your firebase new terminal go to your folder sorry e-commerce and then type npm install save firebase and we will be installing it with our dependencies okay direct dependencies but not for our dev dependencies okay enter okay our firebase has been installed successfully okay if i go above now it's okay to work with these functions okay let's complete our functions in here 
write function for or delete image after when we delete our product that the image will be deleted inside your storage delete image and give it the id of that image okay this dot storage dot ref and she will be deleted inside products okay and child id and this id is the url okay delete okay so now the next function is for edit product okay it will give the id and updates okay so then write this dot db dot collection inside our products and dot doc id okay and dot update updates okay so we'll provide this document the id and the updates that the newest update that should be updated inside this id okay so the next function is for remove product okay and this function will take the id this dot db dot collection inside products dot doc and the id of that document and simply delete okay so the last function is to get or id of the particular document okay so we'll write here this dot db dot collection inside products and give the doc id dot id so this generate key function will be able to give us the ids in order to edit delete or remove or i made any changes inside or database okay and we haven't returned this firebase const fire base and new firebase okay and export it default fire base okay now it's fine okay the all the functions for admin for our database has been completed so in the next video we'll be working with our redux side of our application see you in the next video